What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marco Delia and today I want to unbox this package that I received, I think 99% that it's fragrances. So a brand contacted me and tried to tell me about their brand and they wanted to send me these fragrances. So I told him what are my kinds of favorite scents and fragrances and they sent me their, uh, their best fitting opinions, their best fitting fragrances. So I'm gonna unbox it and tell you a little bit more about it. So guys, First of all, I just finished the TikTok 30 days growth challenge. I grew from 100K to 131 and I keep growing. So if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. For the other things, let's just unbox it. So I think that these are, these are supposed to be woody masculine oriental fragrances. So because I asked them for that. I told them, they asked me, what are your kinds of favorite scents? I told them, woody, oriental, sweet, powerful fragrances. So after making you see, making you see those, I'm gonna tell you also my other oriental, sweet, powerful, masculine, strong fragrances. So I'm gonna give you my suggestions on my favorite ones. So let's unbox this. All right, Bon Parfumeur. So the brand, okay, the unboxing is very cool. Very nice. That's great. The brand is called Bon Parfumeur and I can already smell the fragrances. Mamma mia. <laughs> this box is made of recycled cardboard, which is very good. And this is another thing that it got inside. So there is a letter card here. Let me take a picture for the Instagram stories, of course. Okay, this is good. I love postcards. Let me see what's inside here. I think it is the story of the brand. So Bon Parfumeur Paris. So it's just a simple postcard. It's okay, they have branded a lot. They have branded a lot. And this, I think it's, yeah, like basically the list of all the fragrances. I don't know if it's all the fragrances. Oh, it's made in France, Paris. Okay, that's great. And their fragrances are, their names are like numbers. So what numbers I got today I got the 901, so 901, and the 903. So they are supposed to be oriental and strong fragrances. So the 901, let's start with the 901. Oh, what's this? There's another thing inside here. Okay. <laughs> That's so cute. They sent me also this little bottle, the 701, which is, I think, the other, another fragrance, of course. Okay. That's good. That's very masculine, very gentlemanish. I really like it. I don't know about the 701. What is it written here? 701, Eucalyptus Coriander Cypre. Okay, that's a Cypre fragrance, aromatic. It's an aromatic fragrance, exactly, yes. Aromatic fragrances are not like the, my favorite one, but I really appreciate it. So this is the 701. So let's start unboxing these two other fragrances and I'll show you my favorite other fragrances in this same direction. That's a very good unboxing experience. Let's start with the 901. So this is the box. Oh my God. Let's do it real quick. It's supposed to be nutpe Nutmeg Almond Patchouli Special Intense. So nutmeg, almond, patchouli, all right, all right. So you just go like this, okay. 
Oh, and it opens. All right, great. Very classy. Very old school. This is, okay, and this is the unboxing. So this is the bottle. You can see that it's from France. This is very, very French. Bon Parfumeur, which means the good perfumer. Moscat Amand Patchouli. Okay, let's just, let's just try it. <laughs> very good. By the way, I'm not paid by these guys. So even if they gave me for free their fragrances, if they suck, I'm gonna tell you they suck. I don't care. Let me tell you the, the, the true, genuine, honest. I have a cat on my window, okay. And guys, I really was scared that this was not good, but it's actually really good from the bottle at least. So let's try it. And while it dries down, let's unbox the other one. It's a 903 and it's Nepal Berries, Saffron and Oud. Ooh, this, this must be a good one. This must be a good one. I really love the total white. You know why, why I respect this fragrance? Because it's different. If there's something that I don't like about fragrances is the lack of character. I don't like and I don't respect fragrances that are all the same one to the other. And this fragrance is actually very different. It smells sharp, masculine, but it's really early to, to judge it. It's really early. What were the, the notes here? Nutmeg, almond and patchouli. Patchouli, of course, I can smell it from a distance. The nutmeg, yes. I can see the almond, but I think that maybe it will come right after a little bit. So I'm gonna wait a little bit until it dries down. By the way, guys, the link of the of their website, of course, they were very kind, so I had to make this video. It's down in the description if you want to check them out. It's actually a cool brand. I, let me tell you, I receive every day proposal from brands to receive their products and just um, do a video for free. I normally don't do it, but I saw that this fragrance brand is kind of cool. I watched their website and it's very well made. The fragrances are a lot. And I also noticed that they have the private the private collection so i said you know what this private collection is very very cool let me see just real quick if the 901 was the private collection on or if it's this one by the ingredients i think that this is the private collection okay so this is their website actually so i thought it was very cool they have this branding of going backwards the direction of high perfumery, high French perfumery. So shop fragrances are perfumes, Le Classique by fragrance. So let me see. Shop all collection. YMC. Okay, so also they made collabs. Now I just wanted to see if the nine Oh one, yes. Okay, nine oh one eau de parfum. All right. So, so yeah, this is the private collection. So this is the private collection. So let's unbox it. Same unboxing experience as the other. Of course, it's black. The bottle is black. Oh my god, yeah. This definitely looks like the private collection. All right, let's try it. So by the Nepal saffron wood, saffron. So saffron wood. Raspberry, a berry from Nepal, yeah. Nepal berries, yes. Very cool bottle, actually. Oh my God. Guys, this is really a personal thing, but when I was, when I was in high school, I had this, uh, oh, very cool cup, actually, really happy. I had this professor 
that was super intelligent, super cool, stylish. Uh, I love that kind of character that he created for himself. And he always had a perfume, like a strong perfume. He was also into niche perfumery. He was also into niche cuisine, all the niche cool things. He was into it. And he had this perfume that I actually had no idea and I couldn't understand what was the perfume. I thought it was Oud Wood by Tom Ford, but this is exactly, I don't know if it's, the, if it's this perfume, I have no idea. But this smells exactly like that. And I always, always, always wanted to find that perfume. Maybe the same notes, maybe. Ah, it got into my mouth. Actually, this good. <laughs> oh. oh. This smells very niche. I think I don't have any fragrance in my collection that smells like this. This smells woody, earthy, oriental. This is very, very nice, guys. Ah, it's very oriental. The one fragrance that I have that reminds me of that direction. Let me let me show you my other fragrances that I told you. Okay, so now let me show you my other fragrances that I suggest you and that are pretty similar. I think very masculine, I think very strong oriental fragrances. So let's start with the other ones. This is La Yucca one by Razazi. This smells like Tom Ford Tuscan leather but sweeter, more performing, uh, more commercial, so less niche quality. But guys, I received so many compliments with this. I could put this in the number one spot. So it's not a top 10, it's just a list. So it could be honestly on a number one spot in this list. So this is very good. It's much sweeter than Tuscan leather, but it's leathery and it's masculine. Much, much more wearable than Tuscan leather. The other one, which is not so wearable, but it's very a masterpiece, is L'Air du Désert Marocain by Andy Tower. This smells like the desert. And this reminds me of the 903. It goes into that direction. Yes, it goes into that direction. I really love it, by the way. This is one of my favorite fragrances ever. Next one is Bentley for Men Intense. Very, very boozy, leathery fragrance. Very high quality for the price. It's a cheapy, but it, you will smell like a gentleman on a Bentley. I love it. Number one, two, three, four spot. This is my most complimented fragrance for the moment and my favorite one. And this is like a super sweet uh, version of this one. This one, the other one, the first one is very hard to describe. Number, the, the, sorry, it's not a number, it's another one. <laughs> it's Udi Span by Christine Dior, the private collection. And this goes into the same direction of this. I think because of the wood, because of the oriental wood. This is much, much, much earthier and darker. This is more rosy, maybe a little bit more feminine and more oriental. Next one is John Barbato's Dark Rebel. This is the most tobacco-ish that I have in this list. So this is more tobacco, this is more uh, boozy, leathery, but in the dark, really dark and masculine, like manly uh, point of view really cheap as well. And the last one is Tom Ford Woodwood. Wood. So these are my kind of woody, oriental, strong fragrances that I really enjoy. Guy, this is a very good fragrance. So let me see if I have other oriental fragrances. Like I have oriental fragrances, of course. 
but I think that these ones are my favorite ones. I also have Spice Bomb Extreme, which is very, very cool. I also have the Nera Afghano with a touch of a weed accord, and I have the Pegasus Layton with the wood, but this is not the exclusive version, so it's not that oriental. So that's it, guys. Shout out to the bomb perfumer, 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 Paris, Paris. These are the two fragrances 901 Muscat Amand Patchouli. If they perform good, they are very good. 901, more gentlemanish, easier to wear. I don't know if it performs good, but if it performs good, it's a very nice fragrance. This one is my favorite between the two, 903 by Du Nepal Safran Wood. And this is earthier. If you ever tried the niche fragrance, Gaia, Gaia, the white one from the Centauri perfumes, it smells in that direction. So earthy, saffron oriental, but with a touch of it's like a green accord, I don't know. Yeah, like a greenish accord. I really like it. So that's it, guys. These are the fragrances. All the links of all the fragrances, also the other ones in the description. Sorry for the long videos, guys. But if you enjoyed, let me know in the comments what do you think about it. And I'll see you in the next videos. Peace.